I'll just stare blankly at the screen for the time. Oh, I was one person here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I'm going to set the Hindenburg on fire here. Who's in here? See you in here. I'm never like I'm never up this early. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm going to kill some kill some freaking time. Try to have a little fun. Yes, no. Some of you guys are up all hours and stay up all night. Hey, Christina, I haven't seen you in a while. It's been a very long time. It must be like opposing schedules or something. I hope you're well. Hey, Craig. Maniac Matt, hello. Machine Lady, hello. <laughs> I'm okay. I didn't sleep all last night, so come on here, kill a little bit of time, have some fun, <clears throat> figure out what the hell I'm doing. So, I was serious, like, I'm dead serious about the freaking the title. I know there's no answers to that, but uh, could be a, could be a fun idea. It could be a shitty one. I've just been thinking a lot. Jesus Christ, lighter don't work. Two blue lighters. <laughs> I don't know. I have like a million fucking things I want to talk about. I don't know where to start. I like your mods suck. Well, I have a great life. Wish you the best. Wow. <laughs> something, something went terribly wrong there. Okay, you too. Nice seeing you. I like my mods. I honestly like when I trust my mods. I've been accused of having a rogue mod in here. But, like, I don't want, like, Carlos. I don't want him blocked. I don't know. Like, there's something super questionable. You guys know what you're doing. Play some Goat Simulator. I, I turned it on the other day. It's all downloaded. I haven't had any interest. I really haven't. I have to tell you, monitoring the power. I'm like, can I play this tonight? Is the sun going to shine tomorrow? Am I going to be okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Like, I'm never up this time. So, yeah, it's very understandable. Let me shower. Oh, oh, again, fairy dust. Gulf Coast, hello. Yeah, I don't like, there was a time I was like obsessed with video games. It just, it stopped being fun and then it was fun again. I just couldn't zero. Like, I want to play. I just don't have much interest. Yeah, I don't know. My, my mind's like, it's fucking elsewhere. I stayed up for like three and I got that freaking bike going. The chain fell off. So I gotta go back in there and attack that. But I'm freaking, I ain't gonna be too useful today. I'm just sitting here, I'm like, I oh, mean, I should sleep. Yeah, I didn't sleep all night. What, what the fuck is this all about? Like, I'm gonna sound like a whack jaw. I just, none of this makes any sense. Oh, the spring break. I don't know. I haven't I haven't left this. This place like a freaking, like a black hole. It sucks you in, you lose all track of time. <laughs> Marshall called, he's like, this place like a FEMA camp. I'm like, wow, that sounds lovely. It kind of is. It's not the most uplifting place. I don't want to get out of here. I'm not sure what to do, though. Yeah, I don't know. I hope some people had, had input. Because they ain't making too much sense to me. And as far as I know, the rules the rules are all changing, like it or not. So if anyone thinks they have a good handle on this or whatever, I, I think they're about to shake your world up. I was, just, I, was, I was just curious what people thought or like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, honest, I'm a little fucking lost right now. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. But I don't want to make this all about me either. I don't want to be selfish and stupid and boring. But yeah, as far as the spring break, I, I don't know. Is there still a spring break going on? I have no idea. I'm probably still here from there. Like, people get shot down in Clearwater and stuff. It's the last I heard. I got no business going there. I'm not interested. I hang out with the old people at Hudson Beach or something. <laughs> More my speed. Or stay here. Drive myself fucking crazy. Hey, Ricardo. White line trucking. Hello. This might be a good one. I don't know. I'd like to hear your fucking thoughts on this. <laughs> You're all over the place. I don't know what's real and what's not with you. <laughs> Half truths, whole truths, no truths. <clears throat> Very intriguing. Uh, you are entertaining either way. Any fun in the sun? 
That's my big alarm. It's not kicking off here. Where are you at, though? We got to 82 in a couple of days. Uh, Gulf Coast is a big place. We got a panhandle down my way. I don't get it. Oh, thanks, Ricardo. <laughs> I need to ease off of that stuff. Embracing happiness when it comes and hang on through difficult times. That's that's about as far as I got with it. I don't see there'd be much rhyme or reason. What's the topic today? The meaning of life. And there's no like I can only condense like a um like such a title in here. So there's no wrong answers. It might be fun, it might be a tremendous horrible, horrible failure. I don't care. I got some time to kill. So yeah, have fun with it or move on. I, I don't care. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. So, like my mind was both fucking, I don't know, all over the place. Yeah, rising sun. So I'm thinking, like, I don't know, like, I just want to get, like, honestly, different thoughts. Like, I'm thinking about, like, back in the day, like, like you're obligated to do certain things, and you kind of still are. <clears throat> I don't know how many people have checked it out, but if you go on the it seemed to be like the current model was like pretty concise. Like you do what you're told, you fall in line, do what you're supposed to. I don't know. Hope you luck out on having good kids and you know shit goes right. And you know, get the McMansion and, and all that fun stuff with the shiny car that nobody cares about but you. And now and these people they seem to be pretty powerful. They're saying, well, you're gonna own nothing. You're, you're gonna be happy. <laughs> Wait, like I, I haven't figured the, this part out, and I gotta just flip the rules around on me. You really didn't explain it that well last time. Won this freaking cosmic lottery. Here I am. What do I do? That's no joy. Yeah, I get that. That's fun. I mean, it's a really good part of it. But... <laughs> I don't know. It just seems to be kind of like fleeting moments of joy, like interspersed with continuing. Freaking bullshit. You know, I've heard different things like, oh, it's a, it's a freaking test. And I met this guy. I haven't seen him in a while. He's like a pastor, a preacher over there. He, <laughs> I was bargaining with him and shit. No, he's, he was old. I didn't want to bother him that much. But he had some interesting thoughts and <clears throat> some viewpoints. I appreciate a thousand answers. I mean, well, we can type them up if you want to. You need to come visit. Life, the universe, everything is 42. I don't get the significance of that number. I know a lot of people, they read a lot of shit into and numerology, and there's, um, I always forget the name of the, the number study. It's, and I know who does know it. She's not here. Need to come visit. You know, get out of here one of these days and go do something, visit somebody. Live, live your life by your rules and standards. That's not generally the wisest thing. <laughs> like it just it seems to be like a common common theme that you kind of like guidelines to stick by. Your own rules and standards. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Hey, Scottish. Everyone needs a dog. Yes, that is true. Maybe a cat too. For she's a joke of hitchhike. I never, I never read the book and I never got in the movie. I don't know. It just didn't, didn't seem like something would be up my alley. This is fucking bright. Yeah, I think I discussed it. I can't read. I'll fall asleep. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't cut out for reading. Yeah, that's where I went wrong. Yeah, she's, she's a great little fresh pain in the ass. Everyone knows how. Complain about her and kiss her. Complain about her. And overall, it's worth it. I said when my first dog died, I'm like, oh, no more animals. That was heartbreaking. Gotta get another animal. And she's getting older, too. I freaking Mike had lost his dog. Mike living free, and he's still all fucking devastated over it. Like that that moment's inevitable. Time goes by pretty freaking quickly.
I was, I was kind of thinking about her as an example, like how you turn out, like I'm not saying this would ever happen. Like say I left that dog chained up, you know. Like you look at like the this the whole premise of this country, it's supposed to be life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Kinda, and then they're like, oh, all men are created equal. That's a <laughs> prove me wrong on that. I, I don't believe that for a second. If I got show this dog all love and affection in the world, or I could chain it out back and freaking not pay any attention. It's <clears throat> it's all luck of the draw. Who you end up with, for the most part. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm fucking terribly wrong here. <laughs> it was just a stupid mood. I just, I just want to keep this freaking fun, ish. Get on with my day. <laughs> usually, usually, I can't keep up with the chat. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk. We can all agree that having a dog is the best. <laughs> Unless you got to run to the store and it's hot outside and people call the cops on you. That's a major hindrance. Yeah, true cross of the dog is great joy, great sorrow. That's very true. Like I was about to, like, I was not the end of this is not worth getting out of this shit alive. And you know, when I got her, I knew I didn't want another animal because I knew that day would come. I'm like, ah, oh, it's, it's a ways off. But then my friend said the other, he's like, oh, she's getting a little bit older. Like, yep, I think she's like eight years old now. I don't even know what kind of dog she is or what her life expectancy is. My last one lived till 15. I got lucky with him. She seems healthy, happy, I don't know. Hopefully she'll live forever. <clears throat> We've had a lot of fun. We've had a lot of adventure. She's been a f I don't know if she realizes too how many places she's been. Yeah, not a lot of dogs get that. <laughs> you know, I got allegations of freaking abusing her and shit. Treat other crap. It's crazy. I definitely can't make everybody happy. Not, not a lot of ones here. <clears throat> Stare at the freaking camera. Not a thing to say. Like, freaking, I've been told before. <clears throat> Stay cool. Like, I think, like, for the most part, there was, there was probably a time when you're equal-ish up to a certain point, depending on numerous other factors. Yeah, and then you, every time you bring out, like, quality, then you've got to bring in equity, and that's a freaking touchy subject. I, just, I don't think any of them are true or fair. And well, I hope you're feeling good. I mean, I could just walk around, and you know, there's something, there's something way off here. Way off. And I know there's, there's like, more than, like, <laughs> tons of factors in it, but... I think some people are like incredibly skilled or incredibly lucky. <laughs> this is kind of amazes me. Uh, I, I know most of you fairly well. I don't know. I don't want to go private. You know, we're all different, different stages in our lives. Like we go from some of these places that we do. I don't trust anyone unless they own a dog. Dog people are pests and dogs will let you know if people are good or not. I, I don't know about that. She hates the FedEx guy. <laughs> and she barks at the FedEx guy. Like, usually they're bringing car parts or something. And then she'll, like, freaking try to hug up on police. And, like, these people are going to kill us more than likely one of these days. <laughs> you got the wrong idea. I'm not a pet for 20 years. I get too attached. I need to be free, but also worry. I'm sure your friends have pets and go see them. Uh, it should be a good one. Road trip ready. Super introspective. I mean, I like to gain knowledge and skills while sharing them respect and pass on to younger people so that we advance the species. But to where, though? Like, I, I, I really thought about that. I don't, I don't see this shit going. In a, in a, like... What kind of miraculous thing that I could do that's going to stop these friggin' people from blowing each other up and just being total fucking shitbags and murderers? <laughs> this is not happening anytime soon. It's a very lofty in a perfect world. Yes, that, that would make a little bit more sense. But 
I don't see it happening anytime soon. This shit ain't ending. And then think about, like, I, I know you're going to probably appreciate this. Like, say, like, when you, I don't know how people have told us, like, you can be whatever you want, and you work hard, you get everything you want. I don't want to be bitter or anything, but, like, say you're one of these elite people, or whatever it is to happen, and you're, like, fucking Musk or, or Gates. You have it all. You've done everything. What else do you do now? And they're talking about these crazy plans to, like, black out the sky and everything else. It's, it's wild. Like... <laughs> So I got all the money, and I'll get some power. Like, it was Tony Montana. It was like, first you get the money, you get the power, then you get the women or something like that. Like, this is really only those three things. Once you have all the money, you probably have all the women, regardless. And then you get power. And what do you do when you get power? Oh, just get some more power. <laughs> it's it's a good, pretty good fucking feeling. It's probably addictive. A sugar glider. That's bad I've ever had. I never really understood those are cute, but um, someone was time and the shark are running around me. I'm sure he's. I just. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Like I'd be scared to have something like that. And lose it. <laughs> like, too. Too friggin' fragile. And, and bring it to the park and shit. When I was younger. I went to the mall. I was like amazed. Some kid had a. Um, it's not his BMX bike. And he had a squirrel. This homemade little leash. Like, I don't know where you got that thing, but it's made out of like, um, <laughs> close pins and string. <laughs> well, this kid's freaking weird. <laughs> where did he get that thing? Why? Each their own. I'm not so sure Eddie would chime in on that. <laughs> there's a there's a real spiritual guy that you want to he's the guy to talk to about these sort of things. Let's go closer. <laughs> no shit. Morning cocktails, yeah, not not for me. I had, I had a little bit of fun on that stream yesterday. And I got some shit accomplished. That was a win win. Oh, that was actually that was a lot of fun. It was a fun chat. And no, no morning cocktails. Not my coffee. That's it. Thanks, Charlotte. <laughs> I, I really hope Eddie's just like formulating an answer. Be like you look at some of these people. Like <clears throat> they'll go for these like ayahuasca retreats or DMT trips. <laughs> I've been to similar places. Yeah, it, it's fucking cool. But people say that's just life changing. I know it's good. Got its benefits, but I don't know if all the answers are there. Hey, Ford fan, how are you? I just, we're gonna find out. I'm just kind of get, getting things rolling here. <laughs> I touched just right here with Street Life. Thank you, Monica. I'm not a, I'm not a hero, but I'm, I'm glad you picked me. It makes me feel good. I, did, I watched this video, and it, it was, I don't know, it's kind of a funny mix of things like. Like you just want something to get you through, but then if you got to say, oh, you're taking a gamble, like, because he included personality, like, who are you going to be able to, like, how long are you going to be with this person that like, you probably, like, you, know, you just see me or all these other people on the screen for the most part, who are you going to get along with and not murder each other? Like, <laughs> it's such a freaking variable. I really, I don't know who the fuck I hang out with there. Probably, I don't know, I'd probably pick Street Life. <laughs> I think I tried the other flavors, except Gerald wasn't there. I fucking met him. <laughs> I don't know, that's a definite no-go. <laughs> that was a pretty, that was a creative freaking <laughs> little scenario. It was fun. So, I see, you be like, reads too much in a shit sometimes, though, in my opinion. I don't know, I mean, life be about self-respect, self-love, respect and compassion. Yourself, because it's who keeps you going in life. I don't know. Right? I mean, I get that. And, yeah, those are very noble and perfect things. But what the, what the fuck? I just, I don't understand the end goal. 
Like, you know, you come here, like, life is pretty fucking crazy. And a lot of us come here, you see the shit that goes on. Some people contribute more than others. It's like an extension of, like, freaking beat them up. But it is entertaining. This is this, <laughs> this is a whole other ball of wax. You know, like, what can pay? <laughs> you can probably start some people's day off, right? Self-love, respect, compassion. Yeah, those things seem like such simple things. Not oh, compassion to yourself. Those are like super freaking difficult. Absolutely difficult. And they're all, they're all so interrelated. I like that though. Oh, maybe that's I don't like I, said, I don't want to mix me, but they, that's part of my problem right now. Like, what the fuck? Like, where, where'd I go from here? Like, no clear... <laughs> I'm gonna show all week. Like, I, what the fuck? Alright, landed here, now what? Something clearly went either horribly, horribly wrong or went according to plan. I don't know. Like, I always had, like, contingents. I had, like, plans A, B, C, and D. My calls would fall apart no matter how well you plan them out. And then what? We're gonna move on. But yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be shy. I, I, what the fuck am I doing? And come on here, have some fun, keep myself busy when I got some energy. <laughs> There's no like I used to have the, the five. And, you have a one year plan, you keep repeating the one year plan or keep updating it. Five year, maybe a ten year. But five years is good enough for me. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> like something goes fucking horribly wrong. Uh, that's cool. Whatever. <laughs> this is it's it's okay. This is not fucking fun anymore. <laughs> that, was a, that was a horrible experience. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I'm just being like pretty <laughs> negative and cynical. But... Right, turn this fan on. Let's smoke out of here. <laughs> Tell me if I'm a fucking asshole or I'm an idiot. I don't care. So one of my thoughts. I, I don't know. I was like thinking like <clears throat> how these people were like a lot of people were like like you're, you're here. You he has to be here. Like, okay, here I am. Like what, what do you do now? Like I know for a fact there was definitely areas I could improve. Like I could have set myself up a lot different, but. When you're young, you don't know any better. Like, I just started learning about money and how shit works probably in 2015. <laughs> and I, I, I don't I don't think I've scratched the surface, but I know a hell of a lot more on how shit actually works than, than what I did. I know I can't go back in time, but I would have played my cards a little... Not a lot differently, but a little bit differently. I would have been a lot more cautious. Probably a lot more guarded. Life can be simple. I'm tired, but I'm busted back. I do much have. I'm all trying to get rid of it all. Yeah, and that that fucking sucks. If you living in freaking pain and agony, just tell you to fucking soldier on. It's not gonna deal with it for the most part. You know, it's, it's terrible. I don't know, like something like. Have you ever met a nurse that didn't have a bad back or somebody worked in a warehouse? And these people are been trained extensively on safety. And then there's the real world as well. I am Marie. That's just a temporary play place. Have as much fun as possible without hurting anyone. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty fucking cool. It's cloudy here for half, half a week. Oh, I thought you had, I saw your video. You had tons of sun out there. I'm sure that was probably days ago. But that brings back like that that preacher guy. Like he started um that was just being cordial. He was a neighbor or whatever. You know, you had to lay it on like he starts talking about Adam and Eve. I'm like, alright, where is this going? Like what is he getting into here? And it turns out like he didn't think I ever opened a Bible. Like I know a little bit more than I probably think I do. <laughs> but he explains like he kind of said it was like a test. And he's like, well, you're going to, you're good. You do everything right. You 
go there. I'm like, hey, what if I don't want that? What if I just want to have a, a decent fucking time now? Uh, I don't I don't care about that. Like, I didn't ask for that. I'm, I don't expect it. Like, <laughs> what is what is this all the fucking rigmarole here? <laughs> this, is, this is enough. I don't need to live forever. Just have, have a little bit of freaking fun down here, I guess. I hope you get some sun out there. My first alarm clock. It's time to wake up. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't know. I have a lot of posts to people believing in that stuff. And I really, I don't want to touch on religion a lot, but it's something like I didn't, I didn't, as far as I know, I didn't agree to it. And a lot of school thought if you don't agree with it, you don't do what you're supposed to be going down there. I didn't ask for that either, but I guess it seems a little bit more accepting there. I don't fucking know. How much worse can it be? <laughs> None of us know. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get answers on here, but it's going to be fun. I like what people are saying. I'm going to come in here with a topic this good idea once in a while people like it so you seem to start live streaming a little bit more I got foot I got all sorts of footage I don't even know what's on my phone but I should probably put a video together <clears throat> I don't know what's on there <laughs> just had, hadn't seen that important either <clears throat> I like I like this freaking YouTube's going to the fucking moon or anything you know I don't, I don't see this platform really progressing I'm going to have a little bit of, little bit of fun and you know, <laughs> meeting some cool people. <clears throat> days of getting rich are on here are over. Days of getting famous are over. If they don't like you, you're out. If they like you. You can get promoted freaking crazy. Fall right in the algorithm. So the rules aren't supposed to judge you. He told me, I'm like, hey, what about my, what about my animals? They, no, they, they don't, they don't end up there. <laughs> like, that fucking sucks. Like, <laughs> one more, one more reason I don't want to go. It seems like paradise to me. I'm going to see all my little animals. <laughs> I asked somebody, I was like, hey, that guy's full of shit. I'm like, right, you prove any of this. Aside from your personal fate, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's all right, I'm not buying it. What's the video title? Which what one, Eddie? The one I haven't put together yet, or this current one? Hey, Ronnie. It's a hot one. I need to read better. I, it's Friday to freaking speak better. <laughs> so, oh, the, no. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm sleep deprived. They saw how watch, like how goofy they look. I'm like. What the fuck is this person even talking about? Mumbling. Stir fried idiot. I was John man made. That's the relationship of God and thank him for each day. I got all I went through and spin right there wash on. Glad you do that. I don't I don't like to touch on religion. It's so intertwined, but it gets people all riled up. This is what it is to the individual. I, I haven't seen it in great, in great come out of it yet, personally. But who knows? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Probably looks like I just I didn't think of that person's out there. Like, I didn't, I didn't ask for any of this. I didn't freaking make any deals with you. <laughs> why, why are you doing this to me? Crazy idea for the airbag helmet. For <laughs> what? Who needs an airbag helmet? I need to get a helmet, though on my list somewhere <laughs> i got this bike oh, almost all up and running and go find somewhere to ride it and get freaking harassed i was right out of the national forest i clearly read the rules you're allowed to do it half hour from before sun up to half hour sundown you can't, you can't do that here <laughs> like i just read the fucking rules leave me alone go and get in trouble okay <laughs> get myself some more shit over that I think my dog's the way you live for. I've right, like, there's, um, I love animals, don't get me wrong. There was this lady that came, I worked at Saturn, 
wow, she's fucking wow. I think she, the only reason she came in was to show off her dog. And she's showing us pictures where she dress them up and like pose them. She was like infatuated with this thing. It was, it was it just seemed weird. Like it was too much. She's showing every technician in the shop these like little posed out, like theme pictures. <laughs> like get this lady away from me. Help just be nice to her. Get her car in. Get her back on the road. I'm not grasping the idea of the airbag helmet. I don't even know that like it would help at this point in time. There's so many head injuries. It would make a fucking difference. I don't know, so like some of the shit I say, like people like like legitimately concerned. <laughs> I'm not gonna freaking harm myself. Just, like, sometimes I sound depressed and say stupid things. Like I was saying, like, I, I did, like, I got that freaking, one time my ex-boyfriend's like, hey, you gotta get a fucking job. I'm like, all right, whatever, whatever, whatever makes you happy. So I'm like, all right, Home Depot's hiring. Like, you're hired. Like, okay, where am I working? The paint department. I'm like, how much? They're like, uh, 820. I'm like, fucking kidding me? Why? <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> but then I got that, I got this, I guess it was kind of a desirable job at Capital One. I bitch about that a lot. But it was, was mind-numbing. It was so boring. <laughs> I, I think I slipped. I don't think they wanted me there, and they just left me alone until I worked my way out of there. It's really strange. But like my, my favorite part was manipulating, like just manipulating the numbers like on your metrics, and not to be like I was doing my job, but just getting just boring. Like let's see if this guy figures out what I'm doing here, and then switch it up. And they never found out. Like wow, your numbers are incredible. I'm like I, I took breathers when <laughs> you're back to back like an hour. Like I had to take a fucking break for two minutes to catch my breath. <laughs> so really, no one ever fucking no one knew what was going on there. It was freaking really terrible. I had tons of shit for my teens in my early 40s. Now that surprises me. I thought this so many times. And I thought about ants. Yeah, that that shit, like, I've taken it once. It didn't, it didn't do anything. I was ex not, I was ex wasn't expecting, I don't know what to expect, but I got nothing. And he was a reputable guy. Say stupid things. I think it makes people like us more. <laughs> I can blow up. Like it can blow up right in your face. I made a joke to a friend. It was very fucking rude. But I was I was thinking he would get where I was coming from. It was shitty. Like it was. It did not go as planned. I'm, like, hey, man, I'm, I'm fucking terribly sorry. <laughs> I definitely apologize. <laughs> no, forget to treat people like that. You ever been on a QS? I went once in the on uh, the Volkswagen and I had a panic attack and left. I couldn't find a place to stay down there. <clears throat> and I got kind of homesick. And I thought about doing it again, but it's 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 from what I've heard, it's like it's one giant cat and mouse came on a small island. I'm not I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress myself. I didn't really like that place anyway. I think it was overrated. But I, I didn't take the time to enjoy it. I'm totally on the road. Nearly be front self and no one to help me. I'm just gonna have to clean it up. Yeah, you, you got it tough. It's. Yeah. I, I found. They just ride that little bike around here. Like, it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's stupid, but it's fun. Definitely lights my mood. That's why I want to get that finished up and then start working on the other one. I'm tired of working on shit. I'm tired of being here. I'm starting to hate this place. I don't know, it wasn't designed to freaking stay as much like this place. I'm supposed to live here. It's pretty clear. <laughs> no one said anything, but... I know it's probably frowned upon. I don't want to push my luck. Injection seats on motorcycles. KZ650 B3. No shit. I've always... I don't know. Those are popular bikes. I love taking up the joint I take it you have not visited my community page as of late that's okay you're forgiven you're a busy guy cause looks gross like, all the smoke's going out the freaking and my lungs and out the window this is where I made an announcement you are not to be banned I'm not, I'm not gonna comment them anymore <laughs> I, I, I wrote a little a little short something and put it up there that's all i'm gonna say for the summer, i don't i don't know where i'm fucking going i don't know where i'm going 
I like to go out west. Then they hammer us at these fucking gas prices. Like, this thing is terrible. Gas is horrible. I, I know. I could go out to Maine. I could, I could just hide out there all summer and not be bothered. Like, nobody cares. I mean, there, there's some riffraff around there. But I've already been there. I've done most of it. It's, I, know, I know it's safe, and I know it's, I'll be comfortable there. Hey, Larry. I don't, I, don't, I don't really have a clear direction or time frame right now. I honestly, I don't know. I'm going to leave it up in the air. I was waiting on the, the guy who was with last summer to kind of get his bearings and tag along and bother you once in a while. I haven't heard from him in a while either. Maybe I upset her. <laughs> Maybe you figure, oh, last, last summer went okay. Might wanna, I might not want to push it this summer. Who knows? You're not banned. Surprise, you're out. I talked your fucking ear off last night. <sighs> Going bananas. I'm, I still, am I still? You're, you're holding a wrench for the time being. <laughs> yeah, I almost got taken away as quickly as it was given. <laughs> it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I was going to finish my coffee and smoke like a fucking chimney. People complain about that. Tell me I'm hurting myself. How disgusting it is. I do apologize. I'm kind of quiet. I'm just dead serious. I'm here for the side chat. I'm not entertaining at all. That's where it's going up. And also, there's tons more viewers out there. Yeah, I went and got, I got gas for the bike. I'm like, maybe I had bad gas. It wasn't that. But I filled out with premium, like a little two and a half thing. I didn't look at the price. I just looked to see where it's filling. Like, 10 fucking bucks. Get out of here. I'm <laughs> stupid. That's what your favorite saw. Just fuzzy use blanket. No longer being a fuzzy because <laughs> try or what? The <laughs> try heat was too high. <laughs> That's a damn shame. <laughs> That's a terrible, awful shame. Are you sure it's using tepid? Like, you never know when you go places. It's like, I went to one laundromat. It's such a boring fucking problems. I'm like, hey, Mr. Friendly Attendant. The guy was, like, super not friendly. I'm like, how much? Like, I don't know. rarely do laundry at those places. How much? Do I split this up? Like, how long is it going to take? And he told me to split up. I'm like, all right. I kept feeding fucking cores, and it wasn't drying. And he was, like, getting upset because the place was closing. <laughs> I asked you specifically what to do here. <laughs> Clearly didn't help me. Now you gotta, now you gotta suffer. I don't want to be there. I'll draw Matt's sub. Working for someone else sucks. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Yeah, I think that would be like self-respect. But it's it's hard to freaking like. I have all the ideas and like I tried to start a garage before. I had two guys that I really trusted. I had like seven grand in my pocket. I don't even remember where I got it. Like, hey, listen, <laughs> like you guys, why don't um, so I'm gonna rent the shop. I'll fucking find some customers. You guys want to work on cars? I'll run the front end. <laughs> they they were scared. They didn't want to get up there. Freaking, they didn't want to take a chance on that. All right, on to the next thing. I meet up with Coates. I don't think he wants to meet me. <laughs> I, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Yeah, working for someone else sucks. You just <laughs> sound like a call me bastard but you truly sure are busting your ass and making somebody else all the freaking money and it's incredibly hard to get like i don't know like one i don't know what the statistics a lot of businesses fucking fold almost immediately it's tough it's so fucking expensive i have to go for now i need to another shot okay have fun <laughs> thanks for coming comes back against the ants sell the roaches Maybe. <laughs> I've had that experience. I've never given that. I haven't given them too much thought. Come out west. I, I was really thinking. I was playing Grand Theft Auto know, like a month ago. I'm like, hey, I pretty much know this area like the back of my hand now. It looks looks fun. I haven't been there in a while. I don't know, maybe. It's, it's a toss up. Let's see what happens. All right, sure. I'll see you later. <laughs> so there's no clear cut, definitive plans. Take it as, take it, as it comes. Probably those van could fucking explode again. Who knows? 
I don't, I don't have the greatest confidence in this thing. I like I'm just fucking doomed. Whenever, whenever something goes wrong, like, here we go again. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get the shit kicked out of me. <laughs> Start the job, break out into fucking tears. <laughs> oh. oh, I like stretches here. But I, was, I was told the other day, why did this person buy this freaking van and sink all that money into it? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> because I had to. It was not a wise decision, but it had to be done. <laughs> this, this van should have went to the fucking junkyard. It was a bad, like, car. Like, I'm sure it's even harder now. Like, call around, like, try to get vans. People don't call you back. There's scams out there. The first one I saw, I, I was took. I'm like, ah, I really need something. And this thing was a, it was rotted. And I offered him, like, a hundred bucks over, like, terrible book. <laughs> like, awful book. The thing was, was worthless. I just need something, whatever. I could regret this later. He basically called me an asshole, told me I was out of my mind, and said, Stop wasting my time. I'm, I'm so glad I didn't buy that. When I saw this, I'm like, Wow, this looks pretty rough, too. <laughs> it was a lot rougher than I expected. Should have gone to the boneyard. I guess I'm this 20 cents a day of inauguration here, but a month later, I went up another 20 cents. Yeah, there's just people tell you, it's, Nobody knows. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to this shit. Eleven dollars a barrel, you can't give it away, and now it's freaking. <laughs> you're gonna have to refinance everything to fill your tank. It's stupid. And like I never like I never really looked at like speculation. Like this is come these mystery formulas. How bad can we fuck the people today? Stupid freaking natural resource. <laughs> it's terrible. It's fucking terrible. That's why I like to try around this and just watch a needle go. There was all my fun. No matter what goes on here, on there, one just has to live our best life and take them one day at a time. Right. Some days are bad, some are good. It's all about the attitude and how to deal with it. I, I totally understand why I appreciate your input. That's where I'm having a hand. I'm like, I don't want to make this all about me. But yeah, like, all right, let me just reread that. I don't know what my best life is. One day at a time, it sounds great. I think more is expected. Like you're supposed to have plans and shit. Some are bad, some are good. I'm fine. A lot of them are like super non memorable. <laughs> That's why I do a lot of like videos. I had, they're more so for me. So I remember like, I did this on that day. And somebody watches it great. If they don't, whatever. But like, I don't know. What, what is. The I, I, I don't really get what the end game is. <laughs> I don't get it. It's just, it's, it's, it's kind of it seems absolutely fucking pointless. Yeah, there's some enjoyable moments, but this, this shit's fucking difficult. I, I was clearly not prepared for this. I <laughs> get the fucking memo. And then, like, if you don't have a choice, you gotta participate. And if you're clearly bad at it, you did something wrong, you don't have a lot of time to correct it. And there's not really much option. There's, there's not a lot of options for opting out or playing a game you're good at. This is it. Uh, no matter what goes on out there, one just has to live our best life. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. Like, I look at, like, Eddie. Like, he's out there. He's, he's doing his thing. I was like, when I first saw him, I'm like, wow, this, this guy's crazy. Like, how crazy, but he's, like, really out there. And the more I got to know him, I thought, this guy knows his shit. He's doing something right. <laughs> he's, like, he's got a good head on his shoulders. But yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I was a little confused at first. Not confused. I don't want to come off as mean. It's like, <laughs> he's, he's different. He's awesome. I really, I believe he gets it. Some people just have their heads screwed on straight. Like, I, I usually do, but. Like, say, all right. So, I, I play the first round here. I'm almost on like 44 now, something like that. This looks disgusting. Clearly, like, clearly, some someone fucking horribly wrong. It's not a sympathy thing. Does it, is, does it get better the second time around? Is it worth it? Do I, do I even want to do it? Like, all right, so say I like I do everything right, and you know I can buy a house. It's twice as expensive. I could pay property tax on 
all the time. Never really own it. By the time I, like, say I pay it off, like I'm, I'm not gonna. I've said my peak of my earnings, like my prime earnings, is fucking gone. It's done and gone. That ship has sailed. Like it seems like a lot of it seems unattainable. It's like, it just does, it doesn't seem like something I want to do anymore. But then how sustainable is this? Like it would be. This is all a trade off. And and the biggest thing is having to move around and. and getting fucking bothered you bother people like they don't want you around and fucking sweep you under the rug move on we don't want to fucking look at you you can't be here well, I get it to a point but Jesus I got this from the IRS history I'm not getting what why that's bullshit anyone should get it to you Why? Why are they just they're printing this shit out? They're not even printing it anymore. Just punch in the computer. Let's just put it on the fucking assets and the, the liabilities. Let's do some crazy double entry kind. Of kick the can down the road. It's not our problem. It's worked before. It'll work again. It doesn't cost them a fucking cost me anything. It's all imaginary. You know that. I know that. Hey, Sean. Yeah, it's coffee time. It's coffee time. Figure out what the fuck I'm doing here. My major aspirations are for today. Sit around and stare at the freaking the walls in here. Think about all the shit I gotta do in there. I got I know I got I got a laundry list of shit I gotta do that's like little dumb shit, like stupid showing. Where do I start? What do I have to do? Don't feel like doing this. If I don't do it, I'll regret like the little minor things I want to do. I'm just tired. I'm so tired of working on shit. It's, it's old. There's a time like I don't know. I got a job at a dealership. Like, oh, that seems like a cool place. Like dealerships always intrigue me. There's like a mystery about it. Like what goes on back there? How do they, how do they run all this shit? Like oh, let me just get a fucking job there. And 14 years later, I'm still in the fucking business. <laughs> There's nothing too exciting. See the seedy underbelly of it and all the bullshit that goes along with it. And it just got worse and worse. Like, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's true. These places are fucking criminals. <laughs> it's awful. I don't, I don't know how people like <clears throat> I don't know they always think oh, mechanics can't be trusted. So it's the management of these places. And even the um <clears throat> I don't soft talk. But even like the manufacturers, you know, they'll complain to the dealerships, oh you, you shouldn't be doing this, you doing shouldn't be doing Oh, you're gonna pay the frickin' overhead here? Well, no, we'll leave us alone. They're, they're complicit too. They don't care about you. They just want your money. <laughs> Sell you the latest and greatest shiny thing. Trust your neighbors that don't give a fuck what you're driving. That's something some of the car people might care about. The average everyday person doesn't, doesn't give a shit what you're driving. I was also, there was a time, like, my goal was, like, I don't know, I want this fucking Ferrari. I want, I don't know how I'm going to get it, but I'm going to get um, F430 or fucking 380, whatever, whatever one I can afford. And I'm like, if I have the money for that, I don't even fucking want it. Like, what am I going to do with it? Stupid. Don't need it. I can drive the car out now. I'm gonna stare if I need another place to live. But I don't even know, like, why? <laughs> you need a hundred and forty thousand dollar car for what? Fucking what? <laughs> Go get in trouble? Take your friends for rides? Well, whatever. Most people just think you're a freaking asshole driving around something flashy. It's point. It's so pointless. I'm in such a stupid mood. That's a negative freaking Nancy. I don't know. I want Gulf Coast. Say, well, I missed something good there. I don't know. I'm freaking lost here. I missed it. Moving on. <laughs> Feel free to tell me I'm, I'm an idiot. I didn't have a lot of expectations for this. <laughs> Take myself a deeper hole. I was also thinking, like, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people you encounter, like, you're either gonna love you or hate you. And it seems like 
complete strangers always know how to run your life better than, than you do. <laughs> have some crazy opinions of what you should do and shouldn't do. I don't have that told people. This is what I think you should do, but if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. <laughs> Can't be held responsible. But I wouldn't tell you to do anything I wouldn't do. Never have expectations. Others never let downs. I mean, there was, like, kind of expectations. Like, this is how, how it's supposed to work. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> then, I was sitting around my, I was sitting around my son the other day. He was sitting in that chair. He looks at me. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what he said. He said you moved down here. You're, you're like, basically in visions. I'm like, fuck, the, are you crazy? <laughs> I know it was a serious question. Man, never, never. Never, ever, ever. Yeah, I, I get that. There's definitely no concise freaking. I guess it's, yeah, it is personal. Uh, how about your journey? You just watch a few of your videos. I um, else? I can ask if you're a nomad. Uh, I'm reading as fucking fast as the other guy here. Can you just get up? drive anywhere you want to go yeah pretty i mean yeah I, honestly i could just take i could disappear forever <laughs> i like shut this channel down just drive and no one ever hear from me again <laughs> I, I have the ability to do that but i don't know we get comfy places i'm like i have to leave this summer like i can't stay here <laughs> we'll just set the shot and plug and run the ac we'll, we'll fucking die i'm surprised we made it when we built this thing like, I, I, how we freaking didn't end up in the hospital and the dog didn't die it's a fucking miracle this heat is freaking dangerous like i know this is insulated and everything but it's, it gets freaking hot in here like i couldn't i, I wanted to go to canada last summer it got so hot up there i can't go over the border you can't you can't run the AC because it draws attention. People complain, call the fuck cops on you, <laughs> get you freaking killed because <laughs> you're undesirable. But yeah, um, <laughs> more more or less yes. I've been a lot of places, seen a lot of things. Go to truck. I couldn't. I couldn't truck drive. <laughs> I'm so freaking impatient. It, it would it, my head would explode. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I don't freaking envy anyone that has that job. I'd want to just get there. Like, I'll get. If I, get like, I don't like driving. I'll get in. I'll just, like, I want to be there. I don't want to put up with the shit in the middle. Like, I used to speed. And, <laughs> that's risky. Yeah, this is guaranteed enslavement. It's like, it's such a trade off. It's got so many good points. But you know, like, I mean, you've done this for a while and things get bad. Like, oh, this is it. <laughs> what you got is what you got. Can't go lay down on your sofa or whatever. But there's there's a lot of high points. Like some days is the best thing in the world. Other days oh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> I mean, like a lot of people don't say that. Like, they want. I don't know why they want to sell you on this. I, I don't fucking know. I, I don't really recommend it to many people. I do enjoy it. Ideally, I would have done this like part time. Like I was a weekend warrior before. It all came down to it. But yeah, the, the ups, like if I if I did, like say I did, I could hit my head again, and I and it, and it saying it could even happen. Like I got a four to place now. Might be I'd probably be dead before the place gets paid off. I'd never own it anyway. And you have to put up all the maintenance headaches, and there's like nothing that doesn't ever need to be done. You get one thing fixed. Oh, Twenty years on the roof already. And then you end up with freaking neighbors that hate hate your fucking guts. <laughs> that, was, that was awful. I don't remember doing anything all too terrible. I don't know. I, I think it pissed off. Like I didn't mow the lawn. Oh wait, and I gotta get like thirty bucks to pay this guy, and then he's gonna show up. I'm very sorry, my lawn's not mowed. It will be shortly. Please leave me alone. <laughs> it wasn't even a nice neighborhood. I, I understand where you're coming from, but yeah, give me a little freaking slack here. I'm doing what I can. Then from Mike said years ago, I'm getting tired of fan life. Also, I didn't sure for yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really follow him much. Like, I said something that rubbed him the wrong way. I got blocked. I'm like, oh, whatever, you know. But I didn't mean it. Like, 
All right, he's been doing it a long freaking time. It does it. It gets, you know, it gets tiring. You look at a lot, a lot of people that fucking age. Like you're always running around. You can't. Once you can't, like, I, mean, I know that you freaking stay, like, you're like, I'm going to settle, settle down. It feels good to freaking take a load off and, like, just relax, but eventually you might luck out with shitty neighbors there. It's if they even let your van in. It's expensive. You know, you get up and move again anyway. Like the summer was a mix. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of down days too. And that I, I didn't show a lot of. <laughs> Don't want to like that. Oh, and terrible. God, tobacco in all. Yeah, this is a fun little outlet. And I like, I like freaking putting on my stuff. No one watches it. I'll watch it later. Just to remember what the hell I did. At the YouTube lottery. <laughs> What's his face? I'm gonna mention his name. He's like, he's like, you gotta take your channel more seriously. If you get this many views, you get 10 grand. Those days are over. I ain't gonna get that fucking lucky. <laughs> 10 grand for a video. It's gonna take a bazillion views to get that. And that's that's hitting the fucking lottery. Where are you in New Mexico now? Should have Florida this winter. It's been, I don't know, it's been up and down here. The other week it was friggin' brutally hot. It was so warm here and so friggin' muggy. I mean, this is friggin' bullshit. <laughs> Get angry about it. Let's work through it and then cool down again. Yeah, it's nice. It's like almost 70 out right now. It's sunny. But there's, there's so many, like, there's hospitable areas here, and then there's inhospitable areas. And I don't know, like, I don't know, this question nobody asked, but when I got kicked out, all right, so I had my shop here, up the road, like, I take a break from here, go up by the park, and it was, it was made very clear to me that I am not welcome there. <laughs> I'm doing something completely wrong. And I was like, I just don't want you there. Just fucking go somewhere else. But yeah, it's easy to say. So the closest city where you definitely will not get bothered is, is St. Pete, and it's beautiful. But it's kind of far. Like, say I gotta come back up here and work on something. It's a lot of cast to get up and down there. And like, say I wanna hang out with my kid or whatever. Like, it's just like I'll brood everything. I'll bring everything with you. Yeah, I would like to be comfortable here. I will be out of your hair shortly. I will no longer be a nuisance when it gets too hot. You won't have to look at me again for quite a while. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if I risk it and go back down there. Cause I like they got good internet down there. It's pretty. It's quiet. Somebody does not like me there. They more they weren't expecting me when they bought their place, rent their place. I don't know. I was cold here three weeks ago. Was it three weeks? I, I can't keep up with all this shit. That hurricane season. Yeah, that, that ought to be fun. My first move, I was scared shitless of hurricanes. I absolutely scared shitless. What do I do? And board up the house and get like hit with like four in a row. Like that, I was I was legitimately scared of, and they just get used to it. I mean, whatever, <laughs> have a hurricane party. And I did want to talk about the, the fucking biggest fear of my life was when I was losing my place. What the fuck do I do? It was like existential dread. What the hell is going on? I'd never. I wish that's a crazy, it's the most terrible feeling. Just absolutely fucked. What do I do? I don't know who's been through that or close to it. It's, I hope nobody else has to. Like, it's, it's fucking awful. No witch end was up. What the hell do I do? I mean, crazy decisions. Snap decisions that were not beneficial. People in Florida. I don't know. It's, this, this whole last year or two has obviously been freaking way off. I flexed after Arizona. Oh, me, there, me, me or Eddie. Oh, Eddie hangs out there. I've never been. And Calvin's in. I've never been to Texas either, but as far as I know, it's kind of like this place, only on the other side. I may be wrong. And there's something psychological about it. When I was coming back from New England, I'm like, bang, you hit like freaking. You're out of New Hampshire, out of Maine, in New Hampshire, Mass. Fuck Connecticut, whatever the hell comes out of it, like three more states. Like, wow, this is going quick. 
like psychologically, it makes a drive easier. <laughs> you don't feel trapped. I, I hate for, I hate driving. I move so slow. Don't enjoy it. This thing's not a, it's not a pleasure to drive. It's a big boat. I drive slow as a fucking turtle. Unless you get two more weeks of spring breakers, all right. Oh, let the kids have their fun. Tear up your town. Go bananas. My cow is it's a little unlucky. I heard Destin. Like Destin looks beautiful. I just never, never been. Like the only other. I mean, I've been all over Florida. But I've never been to the Panhandle. I kind of stayed in Tallahassee for a while. That was a, a little weird place. Hello, Travel Swatch. Good morning. Tallahassee's definitely there's, there's one big city of government workers and crazy ass police officers. What's going on today? How, how's the trolling treating you? <laughs> Hope the day brings you lots of trolling fun. It's almost crowd of time. I appreciate you coming by. I don't know, I know I've ridden around here, but travel has been my blood. It's travel is it's it's fun, but it's, it's exhausting too. Especially if you find a good spot and let me chill out for a while. Just not move, <laughs> catch my breath. I work being a full time troll. I can I can only imagine. <laughs> Definitely our work. <laughs> it takes a lot of creativity. Depending, depending on what school of troll you come from. I don't, like, I don't know how many fucking channels I've abandoned. Like, some I could legitimately try to get kicked out of there. Others just, just happen. Like, wow, <laughs> that's terrible. I think I stunt that storage. Oh, hold on. Been how important it is to you? I was. Yeah, I had a I promise a place to put my shit, and that, that ain't happening. So let's continue. Hey, it's it's cool because I know everything's here. When I can come back here. No one's really gonna bother me. Uh, I don't know. It's be nice to have the money in my pocket too. But that's what it is right now. Yeah, people are like I'll get rid of your tools. Why? <laughs> Why? Don't get shit for them. Those things are my lifesaver. <laughs> troll names less <laughs> like all my troll names are, are me <laughs> not hiding uh, like on the downside you really can't like people who change their names so much like, you can't tell who's who <laughs> who's setting you up <laughs> who wants to try to ruin your life <laughs> I'm not I'm not that heavily invested here I don't have a lot to lose here ah. shit I'm just looking back there I gotta go get a case of water Elbow travels watch. I was kind of mentioned that before. Like this, kind of like an extension, like the playground of cyberbullying and <laughs> being hateful. Well, I understand it's entertaining. Not everyone's gonna get along. Like some people, some people love you. Like what are they when I don't want to bring politics. When Trump's like, I walk out in the Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, I wouldn't lose any voters. It's true. Like. There's some people that no matter what you do, they're not, they don't care. And then some people just hate your guts no matter what you do. You can't do anything right. And you really can't change that. And then like there's so many associations, like people you get along with that hate each other. And <laughs> it's so weird. A strange freaking place. It's not the biggest one of my worries. I'm a soupy. on Neon Glitzy. Yeah, it looks kind of really pretty up there. Yes, Larry. Yeah, that was a, I figured that out. <laughs> I don't have I don't have a clear cut answer. It's okay though. I wasn't there to really support him or anything like that. I like I like the side chat. I like the people that go there. I'm not investing any more energy in that guy. 
did make I did make a little community post about that, but I, I know those don't show up really. Sometimes you gotta hunt for them. <laughs> sometimes I think I abuse the community post, and sometimes I think I don't use it enough. Which clan? I'm not hateful to everyone. I don't know. You're definitely not the nastiest one out there. I don't feel like I'm the first cop here. It's my bloodstream. Shit, right? <laughs> I go old Dave up feeling freaking human. <laughs> I wonder. Let's keep that. It's going to make you a buck. It's hard to carry around. Like, I would love to carry around more tools. I, I probably don't have enough. I'm like on the water pump and I oh, that was a, a shitty little harbor freight set with me. I'm like, yeah, we gotta get the water pump done with this. And the ratchet, like I made plans, like I don't want to, I guess I got a part of that tool box and just put more quality tools in. Cause that ratchet, what a piece of shit. <laughs> like this thing fucking sucks. <laughs> Work terribly. Like I have all these nice ones sitting back, sitting back there and not with me. I don't want to do the job in the first place. Never mind having freaking quality duels. Get my act here this year. I'm a little better prepared. So yes, last year was um, it was like a maiden voyage and a half, or a half a maiden, like a pre-run and then a just fucking take off. I'm still learning all this shit. been here. Apparently he's not banned. Mm. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Shit all over my mouth. That is gross. I don't know how many states I've been to. <laughs> A lot of them were very, very unremarkable. I probably missed a lot, but I came back down very, very quickly. Or I would, I definitely would have stopped in Savannah. I would have hung out in Charleston for a while. Those places make me feel very at home. <laughs> Savannah, I felt so good there. Cops, you can't be here. I'm like, it's a public place. We rented it out. So I'm like, it's private now. He's like, yes. I'm like, I rent it out. He's like, Get the fuck, just go. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm out. <laughs> he understood me. I, I kind of understood him. Just get out of each other's hair. Move along. I guess some people use two blocks of structure in their RVs. Yeah, I thought that's that was my original plan. My original plan for this was way different than what it turned out. That was Cookie, but oh, she's fine. She took her for a walk this morning. She's laying down. Just snoop around my whole place. Ugh. Snooping around and getting intruders. Ah, oh, fuck, let me open this. I should probably do some fucking laundry today. Um, give the dog a bath. This bed smells like a freaking animal. I'm like I'm having company over. Hey, shimmy sham. Where do you live? Everyone, everyone knows where that guy lives. If you don't, you're out of the loop. Jeez, oh, that one's, that one's a rat. Everyone knows where the fuck we're at. No secret. Crazy. You have the email? Yeah, it's um, it's my first name dot my last name at gmail dot com. It's in my uh, like about section or whatever. First name dot last name gmail dot com. Fairly easy. I'm trying to check. I'm so sick of this phone giving me beeps. This <laughs> stupid shit. Like it's spam from eBay. People calling about stupid Ted Morley. Leave alone. I just felt like this is such a hindrance. It's driving me nuts. If it beeps, like, I know that it ain't important. If it is, it can wait. 
<laughs> I don't even really need it, I guess. I don't think I know where you're at. What you're doing, what you're gonna buy. Thanks, Shimmy Sham. I will definitely get a coffee if I ever escape this place. Yeah, so I didn't sleep well last night. I'm kind of bent up. Kind of bent up. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is this is like a once in a freaking great while this happens. I don't say anything special. I just I don't get up this early. I'm just like I don't know. I feel like <laughs> night time's easier. You stay up. <laughs> if you stay up, then people leave you alone. Sleep during the day. It sounds lazy. It's just safer. It's more comfortable. <laughs> These fucking people. I was on top of um, Linville Gorge. I had no service, no fucking service. And I moved up the side of the mountain and I got like one bar. The phone rings. We're calling you about your car six sound warning. I'm on the top of a mountain. Leave me the fuck alone. I, just, I don't answer anything anymore. It's not my. I don't care who you are. I answer him. Text me or something. Probably nothing I can do to help you anyway. <laughs> Probably knee deep in a bunch of bullshit myself. I'll try though. Sorry, man. I'm currently not much. It was uh, like two times. It started and stalled. I'm like shit. Like everything's new. Like map sensor, throttle position sensor, plugs, wires, cap rotor. I'm like, oh, maybe the distributor like base, or maybe I got a freaking leaking injector. Like a injector's leaking down. And I scan it. There's, there's no fucking codes in there. I'm like, it, just, it gets worse. I just wait for something to completely fail and I'll figure it out <laughs> wherever I'm at. It's not a nice regard up. Low rated art X. The same art that I know. I do have a cell phone booster on top of my van. It doesn't work. <laughs> That's a waste of money. I didn't buy the Wii Boost. I bought the like, Chinese one. <laughs> Call like this thing doesn't it's not doing anything. Oh yeah, oh, it works. You just gotta do this and <laughs> it's like I'm sure your 4 g it's not worth the shit. So I think it's plugged in, it doesn't do anything. 100 bucks down the drain. I didn't feel like fighting. I didn't have time to fucking argue or send it back or whatever. <laughs> take my take my head on that. It's not the worst thing that ever happened. Uh, I don't know. It'd be nice. Like if it actually were like a Wii Boost, they're just prohibitively they're stupid expensive. It runs smooth. Yeah, it runs smooth. But it stalled. Like seriously, it, it start and then died. And it happened twice. I'm like, all right, this is twice twice in a row. I'm like, there's something definitely wrong here. Like, I know it's going to happen a third time. That was fine. So, yeah. it's not, it'll, it'll be a... It'll either work itself out or it'll be a hard failure. I'll have to fix it. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Go watch Elsa and Baron. Yeah, uh, that ain't up my alley. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, they're I'm sure they're sure great people, but... <laughs> I don't know. Like, they had cool cooking and stuff. They, when you live this life, that's shit. Like, you don't want to watch it anymore. <laughs> Been there, done that. Is it not? I watched as many videos as I could. Like, make sure I had a. I knew what I was doing. I'm like, yeah, this seems pretty relatively fucking straightforward. But yeah, I'm like, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> so, who was it that said, um. They're talking to cop and they're like, you go home and study law or fucking watch cops. And, oh, I'm fucking done with this. I'm, like, I'm done with my shit. I'm done with it. I don't want to fucking deal with that. It's the same with this. I don't watch any more vans. Maybe here and there, but. So snooping around the like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, they, they pick some. Seem to, I, I, don't, I don't watch like, I watch them once in a blue moon. <clears throat> they do seem to, like they can't place that wooden camp. Guanmito, thank you for coming back. You shall retain your wrench. I saw it last week. Turn, turn that sensor. Yeah, it's, it's all new. <laughs> Doesn't mean it hasn't gone bad again. Quality freaking Amazon parts. Like, <laughs> plug in what I need. Like, there's no way I'm going to freaking AutoZone. This shit's going to cost arm and leg. Send me the cheapest shit you got from China. If it fails, I'll freaking deal with it and buy another one. Which, the Chevy? Was it the Chevy that's stalling out? You still got the Dodge? I don't fucking can't keep up with you. It's relaxing. That's cool. It's always good to relax. 
Jimmy the Hobo. I haven't heard from that guy in a while, or heard about it. Like, I don't know him, but he's got to be on it. He was on here a lot, and then he just... I wonder where he went. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> Gerald gave him this big fucking lecture. you got to get rid of that dog, <laughs> and you got to get yourself an 88 to 1990 Class B, 250-whatever. <laughs> Explicit instructions how that guy could fix his life. I don't, I don't know if you know, I don't know, hopefully I have the same look. Our vans are almost identical, so I don't know if you had better luck than I had. Stealth camping. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much stealth there is. <laughs> I would seem to freaking <laughs> bother somebody. <laughs> Get on people's nerves, as quiet as I try to be. Um. I don't really have any interest in going and schlepping around a park with a mask on. <laughs> that sucked all the fun out of it. You know, guess, yeah, it might have just been bad gas, who knows. But I was at like a quarter of a tank. Well, anything's possible. Let's see what happens. I don't go out of my little research or things are made these days, I don't buy anything Chinese. <laughs> I don't care where it comes from. <laughs> if it freaking fits in my budget, I don't fucking care. Why don't you delete Ricardo? Are you the rogue mod? I am tired, I hardly slept last night. I'm tired, I'm lost and confused. Why did you ban him? I don't know. I tried to... Uh, I was gonna, I, all I needed for the AC, as far as I knew at the time, <clears throat> was a compressor clutch. I'm like, alright, no big deal. I should be able to get one of those. And like, all those, when they wanted like 200 bucks for like, you kidding me? And then, by the time, like, I might as well just get the freaking compressor. It wasn't that much different. I'm like, I... Well, why you get the whole system for almost a, a little bit more than just buying the compressor there? I can't afford a shop there. I can't do it. It's fucking crazy. Like some people, oh, you can bring it back or whatever. Who cares? Who friggin' cares? <laughs> too, it's gonna get way too many. Way too friggin' many. I measure up I'm gonna get heat for that. Somebody's gonna hate my guts for smoking. Give me a piece of their mind. Probably a scary amount, probably a deadly amount. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. <clears throat> a good back massage. I don't know, I haven't had a massage in a long time. Just getting on one of the rubbing tugs around here. What the hell is this? There's strange people that come in here. Lots of strange people. I can't like that in Newport Richard, I got kicked out, I and mean, I'm not griping about this. But I heard other like they kicked me out of there. I'm not allowed there. <laughs> they don't want to tell me they told me the real reason. And I was reading like a community page, like, oh, they want to keep it clean. And they, they don't allow tattoo shops down there. They want to present an image. But there's a rub and tug down there. <laughs> like, how you know what's going on in there? I was talking about people swallowing. I don't. I mean, did he really say something that freaking bad? Come on. Let's not go crazy here. Down one pack a day. I wish I could smoke nothing. It's, it's terrible. I <laughs> smoke one of the surgeon general advises. Who the hell listens to those people? What do they know? <laughs> I, I really don't think these people have your best interests at, at heart. They don't care about you. <laughs> I, I think the only reason they keep you alive is that you're useful to an extent, but then you become a liability to them. <laughs> I'm sure the bean counters figure out how old they want you to live to and make sure you live at that age and tie off. You're no longer productive. And that kind of just make why the only thing that kind of doesn't make me cigarettes. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do freaking weed. I'm like, I do not enjoy it. I kicked out of a park in Newport Richie a few years ago. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm saying about a bunch of drunks at the park there. It seems like it's another fucking day. They're kind of selective. Like. This state, you kind of get away with whatever you want, <laughs> and, or you can't. Like, there's no in between. 
they would smash into somebody drunk and take off like that. But like, heck, whatever. <laughs> we'll show up when we get there. This guy's long gone. <laughs> he's fine. I'm sure he's still in trouble for it. I mean, just sitting on the side. I don't know. I'm the personal experience sitting on the side of the road in my van. All of a sudden, I'm camping. I've moved in. Nine o'clock at night. I'm thinking about like just inflating my kayak, go down by the, the freaking golf, just leave my kayak out there, it'd be a pain in the ass. The question is, I'm gonna go fishing. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. China. I know the road is not proper craft goods too. <laughs> I do look tired. I'm getting freaking bags under my eyes and shit. I'm beat up, I'm freaking beat up. Potted me for three days straight. That shit's freaking salty. Like, I had some. I don't know. I bought, like, crazy canned goods. Prepping when I was like, going to the store. That stuff was actually pretty good. It was, like, super... I never had it, but it was so salty. My dog loved it. <laughs> Emergency canned goods. We don't have dog food or you don't have shit to eat. That's some disgusting <laughs> meat in a can. It's better than nothing. <laughs> I was up in, um... Where's that? Ocala. And I'm like, oh, I could stay here for a month. I was so comfortable. Like, I ain't got no food. I had like ch chicken in a can. Like, I don't want to eat that shit. I'm like, where's Burger King? <laughs> I drove all the way to the other. Like, I ended up by like Flagler Beach. Some disgusting friggin' Burger King. It's gross. It's on my list to eat better. Just feel better for the time being. It's, what the hell's Scrapple? No idea what that is. So, like, Skibbles? Taste the rainbow. Fire, fiberglass. <laughs> it's a life hack right there. It's fiberglass. You just come near that stuff. And like, it never leaves you alone. It's like on you forever. I hate that stuff. I think I don't work with it that much. <clears throat> Burger King says, well, belong in the kitchen. And who knows? I'm <laughs> sure their opinions are valid. Listen to your favorite corporation. <laughs> they know what's best for you. I'm accused of looking around the house. Actually, are you looking around the house? That's kind of weird. A lot of crazy stuff gets thrown around here. Let's get hit by the rogue mod. A <laughs> rogue fucking mod that you know where he lives. Three bags of pork rinds. Yeah, those are, those are okay for a while. <laughs> get freaking tired of eating those. I don't want to go back on the low carb or whatever. The life of pork rinds and freaking meat. It's expensive too. It's a lot of work. I'm not lost, man. I wouldn't. Like somebody to say something really like fucking terrible in here. Or I want somebody thrown out. Like something that's like, gonna be super egregious or or just totally stupid. <laughs> like completely stupid. Drinking Kratom. White or red vein? I don't know what it is. Kratom, though. It's all stuck in my teeth. They're all fucking brown from it. I don't know if these Pennsylvania pork scrap meat. Yeah, I'm not familiar with much, but I've been to Pennsylvania a couple times. Touch of syrup. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds alright. Not possible. I thought about it. Why bother? <laughs> I'm really not that interested to try it. I don't fucking know. Ask him. Johnston. Syrian Johnston. Cuz I'm bragging like at 10 inches. Who fucking cares? Even if we're two kids of shit. <laughs> Who cares? Who fucking cares? I'm <laughs> so stupid. So freaking stupid. We're running out of answers here. We're running out of patience. Just get, get my fill of YouTube today. I don't know. I don't even light up. <laughs> Disgust people. Like Mr. X asked me, he's like, I don't like the smoking. <laughs> what does it matter? I can all agree it's terrible. It's gross. I, I just don't care at the moment. I'll regret it later, I'm sure. <laughs> Fuck kick my I'll get, I'll get some like freaking strong will to live uh, I wish I wouldn't have done that oh well 
It's <laughs> uncut earth. That, that's an invention. That was. We're, not, we're, not, we're gonna kind of shy away from that guy around here. Gonna, gonna leave this amicable. <laughs> Go do whatever he wants. I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to anyway. <clears throat> the line has been drawn in the sand. How much time do you think? Oh, time. I, I don't. I have no idea. I know my friend invited me. He's like, oh, I'll take you to the White Mountains. My treat. Let's get up here. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't stitch the last few things this together. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm never getting out of here. It seemed like an incredibly long time. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I kept track of money for. I really didn't keep track of time. Like, I try to sleep during the day. <laughs> try to bear through the miserable heat and work at night. Fucking awful. <laughs> they like, repressed all his memories. I think when the. Yeah, this is a lot of labor. <clears throat> I've never done this before. I've never built anything like this. What am I, what am I doing? Figure it out. <clears throat> First part of the job is just showing up and getting freaking getting something going. Everything else falling in place. I guess I got lucky. I don't know. Somebody said that you build your first van for your enemy, your second van for your friend, your third one for you. I think this thing came out fine for the first, first time around. I don't really have any interest in building another one. <laughs> it wasn't super enjoyable. It was very stressful. It's like a fine advice. Uh, yeah, kind of. Like every time I went to the Home Depot, it was like 300 bucks every time I went there. But I like these countertops. Like I had them at the house. I took those. Fuck is it? Strangers. Um, it was still expensive. I, like the sink, I found that second hand. Like as I needed shit. Yeah, I would go on like Facebook Marketplace or whatever. And find any like the floor is like right down the road. They did hardly anything for them. <clears throat> so yeah, I got bargains where I could. And still, it's it adds up so quick. <laughs> shit is not fucking. I mean, I could have done it cheap. I planned to, but. That's how it ended up. This is so fast. Like, right, I... I made it like a... I, I can probably update that video if anyone wanted it. But I made like a 20... I probably went overboard. But I tried to show... I missed a lot of stuff. And it took 20 minutes to do this fan. I didn't even show the solar. Right? Like, I didn't really... There's a lot of shit I missed. Some people like that. And people, want, people ask for more. People tell you to do too much. But I, I don't know. But yeah, I think he could have, he just glossed over the interior. I spent a lot of fucking, a lot of nights on this thing. Just gonna make a video, make it right, like do something. I even, I made him a thumbnail for that. So, no, just stick with this one. He's like, the, the quality's gonna be too low. I'm like, man, I spent like a whole five minutes making this fancy thing to make it look professional and fun. Inviting. Okay, whatever. Whatever, I'm gonna get off that again. But yeah, um, oh, the, the, when you do the dealership, well, you, <laughs> you kind of got to expect it. Like, somebody's going to sell you something, or they're not going to, they're just wasting their friggin' time. You're not, you're not there buying, just, whatever. How are you going to put so much, what? How the hell do you coat to something much? More I, I don't. I don't know. I'm, I guess there's similar space. Th those two vans are taller than mine. Way taller. <clears throat> but like lengthwise, they're about the same. I'm bed and cooler, long term storage for the day. Yeah, I. I really. I thought I wasn't even do running water in here. Um, I don't know. Like if I'm gonna do something, I'll just do it the way I want. Just be done with it. I'm like I'm gonna spend a lot of time in here. I might as well be freaking comfortable and have, make something somewhat homey. <laughs> Going from an 1800 square foot house, you know, that had stuff all the way I wanted. <clears throat> It'd be awfully hard to be happy and just throw. I mean, I could have thrown a mattress in here, a jug of water, <laughs> camping stove. Like, yeah, that would kind of suck. But yeah, I guess I don't know. I'm a little. I kind of need some creature comforts. <clears throat> Why not just knock it out and party here? I'm <laughs> freaking going crazy. I got a couple bucks. I'll just get a ton. All right, good night, Sue. I might take a nap there later. I don't know. I feel guilty sleeping around here. Steel tent only is what works for you. 
Zero here is out and out anyway. I spent a hell of a lot of time in here. Poached eggs. <laughs> okay. I'll buy eggs and just die in my fridge and never eat them. I'm going to short a stand up and cut the screen. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tall van. I think it's like six something in the front. Ah, uh, that's that would be kind of nice to have that, but they're they're kind of claustrophobic. Like when I mean, you have the cabinets, like I wanted this open. That one guy is like, "Why don't you build cabinets?" And I don't need. Like I have everything I need. And I don't want to be closed in. This is small up. Your retirement plan for when you get too old for van life. You mean like the fucking four hundred one k? I had to cash in, lost my ass, and to survive. <laughs> like no, I, I fucking won't deal with that when that comes. I don't think I'm gonna live that long anywhere. Anyway, fuck retirement. <laughs> Ain't happening. I'm doomed. Get too old for family. I don't know. If I get too old, like, I don't, this is what it is. What am I going to do? The most important thing to me is drivetrain. No, no people put it. Just fucking let it fly, see what happens. That's transmission. I rebuilt it. I had the guy rebuild it. So I still don't trust it. <laughs> Bound to blow up at any minute. Fuck this fan. what I got, though. <laughs> it's what it is. It's absolutely what it is. Save from the save from the scrapper. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's so many things I've rebuilt on here, replaced, but <laughs> so a myriad of other things could could potentially explode, and I fully expect it. But yeah, I don't. I have a lot of those van groups. A lot of them kicked out of them, called an elitist. I, I try to share my experiences. There's a lot of newbies in there. I got away with a thousand dollar van and you know build it out like yeah, they, they don't care. And they, how much should I pay for? It? Like if you looked at Blue Book, people people don't want to hear it. Just do what you want. I can't help you. Retirement plan. Yeah, crypto. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I, I haven't even looked at it for Coinbase. Like I'm, I was waiting. I'm like I'm gonna buy a little bit. Seems to be doing all right. I'm like, I'll wait for it to drop, but it's not dropping. <laughs> I don't know if you call it like FOMO. <laughs> when you buy something, it's like, boo, like, fuck this. <laughs> I kind of fully expected it, but not that quick. Whatever. <laughs> I lose, I lose it. It's not going to be any worse for the wear. Oh, that'll survive. Ain't you okay? Yeah, I don't know. But I, I still think crypto is, it ain't going nowhere. They want to scare you. It's not backed by anything. Oh, guess what? This isn't either. <laughs> it's lost like 98% of its value since its freaking inception. <laughs> Solid plan. Here's a 5.9 that will never die. I don't know. I did the. After I said the radiator, and I had to do the freaking timing set, the timing gasket. I'm like, oh, I might as well throw a timing set in there. I had that freaking intake gasket, so I'm like, oh, we're getting my ass kicked. Let's pull the intake off, replace that. <laughs> Should the head gaskets will go up next, or I'll throw a rod or something? Who fucking knows? I expect nothing but disaster. I have a new by uh, transition a month ago. Valby. Yeah, sometimes that works. I think that's all. I really think that's all this thing needed. This has already been rebuilt once. And I rebuilt the valve, valve body. My problem, I can't drop this in by myself. So I gotta just do a whole rebuild. Like, whatever, I don't fuck cares to do it. <laughs> so I get it done fast as my home. And he's like, alright, good to go. And things still do the same thing. I'm like, let me just leave it again. And then he's working. So I go in there, I start rebuilding it with him. He said, this is fucked. He's like, I've never seen anything like this. I'm like, man, holy shit. I took it, it was okay, and then it fucked up again. I brought it back and said, I'm just gonna put a valve body in the valve body fixed it for now. I don't fucking know, I didn't delete you. Rogue mod or YouTube being YouTube. It's a lot, a lot of shit you can't type. You have to, you have to type in code. You know, it's not offensive, it sounds somewhat offensive. Or off color, it's a good chance shit's not gonna show up. Whatever you wrote, write it a different way. Write it in three different freaking sentences. <laughs> Try again. Google moderator. I saw that. I'm surprised he didn't flip out about that. It's wise to these things. Let's do it to me yesterday. I don't know if that's real or not. There's no way you can't get a human being at YouTube. <laughs> it's <so> terrible. <laughs> Maybe no for 
freaking sense. So depressed about your life. <laughs> well, I'm basically never depressed about your life. It's your chest. <laughs> <laughs> I smile barely agony. Oh fuck yeah, I get super depressed. I come on here when I want to have fun or I'm in a halfway decent mood. But it's this isn't all bad. I just, wish I had a little bit more support from some people, but it's I come to I like fucking finally hey, enough of this. This is what this is what it is. <laughs> Move on. It took me 44 years to figure that out. Or not 40, but like 34, because I realized it at 10. Why do you get filter so harsh? I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling abuse all so bad. Yeah, you come on and spill filth and <laughs> just be totally horrible to people, but you can't write something that, that's even a bit off color. How is videos and marks? I don't know why people put up with that. The behavior is horrible. Like, I know sometimes I'm not a shining star of, you know. <laughs> the opposite of that, but yeah, it, that guy is friggin' out of control. I can't, I can't believe it. Let's just buy Crypto Eye and Solo, like, yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah, they don't like that. It's sound financial device. Always buy Eye and Solo. <laughs> and they'll go right back up. <laughs> Are you two rolling? Oh, Mr. Lantern. I'm walking friggin' it's almost the afternoon. <laughs> no clear cut in sight. No, no clear cut freaking plan in sight. But I love you have to sell it and sell that. I swear hey, I swear to god I bought crypto years ago. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but I don't know. I go digging, but whatever. I even had like five bucks in there and twenty pound <laughs> better off of God knows where it is. Maybe I don't have it. I was public service for 13 years. I never. Oh, it's crazy. There's no reason for it. There's no reason for it. I mean, is it, is it an act? Is it, is it reality? I, I don't know. But it seems like I would not come to a place that's completely freaking awful. Like the other guy, there's zero chance that things are going to turn around. It's not happening. <laughs> Get yourself beat up. This is going to end the same way. In my opinion. And gra what? Gravel? Seven years before my life? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I trust you. I'm sure it was the right decision at the time. <laughs> I got nothing but faith in you. You made it, you made it this far. Got your shit together. It's the worst. I don't know, there's just something deep inside that guy that's okay and likable, but <laughs> really it ain't worth it. Definitely not worth it. If you want them, you're just kind of like along for the ride. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking vicious, like vicious mean, but like, you wouldn't expect, but like shit will come out of him, and you, you think he's kidding. He's not. He like, totally looks down on people. If you make a mistake, like, God forbid you fuck up and do something you don't like. Wow. <laughs> I've been talking like that in such a long time. What the hell is going on with this guy? Not <laughs> doing anything intentional. Sabotage. You always have his back. I saw the movie, kind of like living in a video game. Dad, have you watched um, Glitch in the Matrix yet? I think it's like a documentary thing. It's probably it's one cruel video game. It's, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. Hey, whatever Eddie did, he did it fucking right. Paint chips or gravel, who cares? That guy's got his shit together. Yeah, I bet you we are. It wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. It's better than so bad. It's like, it's like real life on set on high stupidity. Yeah, that was... Um, I couldn't believe that kid that freaking thought he was in the Matrix. Like, he's probably on to something, but then he like, shot his mother. He's like, wow, this wasn't supposed to happen. Holy shit. I think he did it again. Like, well, she was supposed to like just disappear. Nope. It was much more horrific. And his like sister called. He's like, what's going on? I'm upstairs. Just killed your mother. I'm trying to prove a theory. 
Yeah, I told my kid to watch it, ignore me. <laughs> like, because yeah, there was a lot of like gaming shit in there. I, I, like, I won't I hardly play games, but I'll watch people play games or watch like video game channels. It was good enough. I like that stuff. But yeah, I found it was recommended somewhere. Let me find this and kill some time. <laughs> Crazier than fucking something can drive me here. Man, really, nothing, nothing fucking surprises me. I'm sure the alien invasion's next. <laughs> They're gonna freaking do something. They, they keep, they, the show gets better and, and fucking weirder every fucking year. It's just, it's just when you thought you seen it, oh, check this out. <laughs> totally fuck you guys up. <laughs> 2016, like, what is this? Freaking wild. Year was off the chain. <laughs> and 2020 is like, wow, nothing on that. The crash and burns. Yeah. <laughs> you start placing bets on There's good odds on that happening. It's gonna be a horror show. <laughs> but none of us. Are, I don't know. I guess I'd be surprised what happens, but we all know it's gonna happen. It's sad. It's like what you're revered for. Like I would. I don't know. I know some people hate watching me. People like that. Like that shot for. Like, yeah, I can't wait to see this person totally fuck up. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Whatever. Oh, there isn't a dull moment. I, I don't like that. A lot of shit's like just contrived and scripted. It doesn't, doesn't need to be. This place is crazy enough. And there are some good, interesting storylines. I don't, I don't even think. Some of these people, you know, personally, I don't even ask anymore. Fuck it, really. Just do whatever you want. I don't care. Just, just here for the fucking ride. I know you're not. I know you're not here watching me. Actually, it gets to a point where, like, you have suspicions on who's doing what and why and what the outcome's gonna be. I don't sit here and watch it if I got time. Probably. <laughs> I talked to one person in particular. I don't know who this person is. It might be. I, I don't fucking care. I don't care. Whatever. Just have fun. Don't, don't hurt anybody. I don't know which I prove that karma doesn't exist. I'm not. A, I don't believe in karma. Sounds, sounds nice, but I don't know. Some sort of sorcery I don't believe in. I don't know, it usually comes out, comes out smelling like a rose. I don't think this one's gonna go that way, but I, I don't wish ill of them. I just, I just wish you'd calm down and <laughs> respect your bread and butter. Like, I worked at a dealership. I had this really weird manager I couldn't figure out. <laughs> I don't know. He thought he was like <laughs> one of those motivational speakers. He did say it's like never get mad at your money. I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. It's like his money pisses me off. It really upsets me. But I get mad at people that are supporting you. Even if they're, they're hate watching, they're still giving you views. And that's, you're basing your fucking life on what you're going to make on AdSense. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to talk about him much anymore. I don't know. I, I wish him the best. 2020 came and went. And there was a lot of shit that I saw that didn't, didn't come true. And he's, he's only human. You can like, tell people so much. Let him run his course. I'm oh, great for rich life. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna participate in that anymore. I'll just watch it here and there. But... Oh yeah, I do. I, you know, he's, he bashes shit out of me. He's just so disrespectful. Why oh, I still care about you? Hey, you're just you're like, I think you're being like purposefully awful. It's nothing that hasn't been said to me before. And kind of rolls off, but it's, it shouldn't be coming from you. No matter what you think, or, there's nothing you can tell him. But I, I always did have his back, and he's not a good friend. And I <laughs> probably would never do it again. It's real life good things to happen to crap. I don't know. It probably ties in with my theme of this. Like, who knows? Who fucking knows? I don't know. I mean, you just notice it more. Because the assholes stand out. And yeah, good things happen. Like, whoa, why, why did that shit happen to me? People that are seemingly not deserving. I went to bad year last year. I mean, a lot of. Like, I think, like a lot of it's a roll of the dice where you, where you land. Like, I've born in this country all, all of a sudden I, I need to fucking love it I mean I do love this place I think it's a pretty place I like some of the people I was like where you land you just land but you can't like I mean you can do certain things like I, I did the best with what I got I may do I did I think I did like some people think I'm total fuck up and a loser whatever it's fine but I think given the circumstances I, I came out pretty much okay could have been a lot worse but I put a lot of effort into trying different things and 
put legitimate effort into this and do or die. I'm not bragging. It's, <laughs> I don't know if it's a, it's not like the law of diminishing returns. But like sometimes it, the payoffs aren't as crazy investment. Or they're not going to be what you expect, but it's usually always be worse. And sometimes it couldn't be any worse. It's been docs and a couple of phone calls. That was, I like, I don't know who you are. You're pretty familiar with this area. It ain't that hard to fucking figure out. I ain't fucking scared. One of these days I'll get fucking shot or killed, whatever. I just think no, that seems so nasty. I don't know. I'm growing my society. A lot of like, people, I mean, I'm some, I'm somewhere in between. I want to do this and I, I got to do this. But there's like a lot of reclusive people, a lot of fucking oddballs. You know, myself included. And there's people that want to be there, people that don't want to be there. There's people that are tired, people that have been beat up. I think it's just like a different subset of people that are a little bit more extreme circumstances, I guess. I don't know. Nice hey, Swedes. Yeah, broken by life, maybe. I, I'm, I'm honestly surprised. I'm fucking totally fucking come unglued yet. Part of a matter of time. Uh, Coast got dogs. You... Everything that bad that happens to that guy gets blamed on me. <laughs> I hate to break that. I mean, he's entertaining. And there's no stopping him. So you might as well, you might as well just freaking give him a little boost once in a while. But yeah, I'm doing it. It's not that important to freaking cause him that much trouble. I got other things to do. Toss a few days if you went off. I, I was trying to lay down. I think he's. Bitch, I guess he got a strike or a supposed strike. Maybe, maybe he did. I don't. I didn't fucking strike. I could have taken this channel down long ago. Very easily. I just, I haven't, it's not that important to me. And he says some terrible, terrible, like, unfounded things. And things. It's shit that's not true. I thought in home care. I did in home care for a while. That dream has died. No more. I can barely take care of myself now. I take care of somebody else. That wouldn't work out. Oddballs, yeah. But look, it's a bunch of fucking misfits. Focus on you. I'm trying, but it feels selfish at the same time. I'm dozed all along. Call the bar you restaurant. Oh, I mean, I can imagine that Duncan. <laughs> we all have a general area hangs out with them. And somebody found me here. They were local. I was trying to be a great person, but how the hell does person find me in the middle of fucking nowhere? Why did you even come down here? I thought you were really cool. I met him. I didn't die. But yeah, that, that guy is <laughs> pretty easy to find. I don't think it's people. Like, a lot of people. People are. There's a lot of stupid people. There's a lot of fucking smart people. There's a lot of people that are willing to put in the effort to. Fucking people, the way he's talking, people take the shit personally. People are really invested in some characters around here. And I, I, I've invested a lot of time and energy all for nothing, but yeah, whatever. I <laughs> get what you put in, I guess. Uh, for life. Oh, uh, yeah, I, don't, I love it. I would, I honestly, I wouldn't leave here if I didn't get. It's unlivable hot. <laughs> like, uh, I just stay put. St. Pete's been very welcoming, so nobody bothers you there. Just move around a little bit. It's friendly people. And stay out of certain areas, and hey, you pretty much live your life. <laughs> people leave you alone. And so, waiting for it to be monetized before things. I don't understand that. Like, that's. I, I get it. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna inflict some additional pain. But I, I don't see like I don't make shit on here. This place, you know, one's getting rich here. Unless you're like, super lucky. I, I ain't banking on it happening, but there's no way. There's no way I would freaking. I would ever rely on this. It's just not enough. I put gas in my tank once in a while and say whatever. And I like doing it, so it doesn't bother me. <clears throat> home care would suck. I, li I don't know. I like them home care. But you get really, really attached to some of these people. I enjoy it. It was pay shit. <laughs> People got like, 
some sort of abandon is, is I don't know, horrible. It's a panel about, I don't know, it's about the meaning of life. We appear to veer off and come back on course. Nothing was set in stone. It's just this, there you do live streams. Like, I had to sit down and do, like, say what I felt. It's, it's not as fun where you can come here and, and pick a topic and ask a, if you don't catch a stream, it's title, it, it, veer, it you just veers off course real quick and I don't know, I've been around it's fucking two hours. I don't know, I'm having fun. No one's told me to leave yet. Number 42, yeah. Those, the word I was thinking is Gematria. I haven't really researched it though. That's what they're reminding me of. Your neighbors. Yeah, I do. I love Florida. I absolutely love Florida. Just, it gets too hot and it's like, it's so questionable in some places, unwelcoming. Sometimes, some places you can get away with murder, other places you can't look at somebody the wrong way. Buy a really motorbike from Crackhead. <laughs> After that rebuilding, we saw it. That, that bike I got here, the blue one, I got a, a drug dealer one, they blew it up. I didn't even give him an offer. He had a list of for something. He's like, I'll just come take it. I was way up north. Just come fuck, get it for a cheap price. It's, like, it's blown up. Like, yeah, it's right up my alley. Another headache. But yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know. I, I don't think there's enough meat on the bones to resell it. And I, I've wanted that bike for a while. Victoria House and a lot of nice ass houses around these places. Ass houses. Ass to speak. Oh, that was, that was fucking hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. Here we go. Let the games begin. Yeah, I don't think you had. I know you want to beef with me. That guy, he don't, like, I went through hell, like, I would have come, like, I eventually, I probably would have been in a better place had I never met him, but, man, people hated my guts just because I was, just because I gave the guy a friggin' the time of day. <laughs> took a, took a, like, in, instant friggin' damage. You're screwed. Uh, I need the... Yeah, he, he wasn't interested in the place. Like, it's an emergency. You could, you could talk to this person. You want to talk to him? Said, no. <laughs> this, is, this is all you right here. Do with it what you will. <laughs> I kind of expect this. Like, I, you got to expect that shit. Especially when I'm surprised it didn't get more fucking brutal. I'm surprised nothing crazier happened. Don't give a homeless band. I got some food. Yeah, that's cool. I tried, I felt so bad for that person behind my van that day. I'm like, ah, oh, I got an extra 20 light around here somewhere, I ain't gonna miss it that much. <laughs> hey, 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 get a second, well, leave me alone, I'm sleeping. I'm right, gonna push that issue. There's too many, there's so many, so many rejected, displaced, disposable people out there. <laughs> I'm living in the fucking lap of luxury compared to some of these people. And they get treated like absolute shit. They ran them all out of the next town up, down to this town. And then you're not staying here, you're going down that way. <laughs> People are just, they're totally fucked. Nobody wants them. So the mandation side of school. Little of drones. That sounds like fun. Travel cardboard box. Could have been that. <laughs> Basically what man, what a fucking piece of shit this thing was. What a nightmare. Absolute friggin' nightmare. In hindsight's twenty twenty. It's desperate. You need something. Take it. Like right there. Yeah, exactly. Dude, people are just gonna weigh it out and judge it. I'm gonna lie, it's down in Snell Island. Like, where the fuck do these people get this money for these houses? Extravagant. You feel kind of like you're bothering them just riding your bike around the neighborhood like you shouldn't be here. Just, you go into my room and that makes me feel like, wow, I really fucked up. Like, but then if you live there, like, wow, it's just, you have the same problem. It's a bigger, nicer place. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, you're really in your time. You got a lot of shit figured out. 
Fun. <laughs> a lot of us do. It's in touch. I got a drone. I got a cheap drone. I never fly it. <laughs> I just lose it. No, I thought it'd be interesting. I got it because I was going to do like the trail. Things. The dog that ate the first one. I don't care about it. Just make excuses. Like I got that RC car I had to have like years ago. I don't use that thing. I don't use my drone. I got a gimbal for the, the GoPro. I don't touch the GoPros. I can't be bothered. Yeah, please don't send me a drone. I don't want a fucking drone. <laughs> I really don't. I'm probably, I'll probably get in trouble for it anyway. Someone will find a way to arrest me. <laughs> get me all right up. Everything I do, I do it wrong. Like doing something fucking totally illegal. <laughs> when the cops show up, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm the one that picked the fight with them. And I should go to jail for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was facing two separate year charges before. I just gotta go to fucking jail. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I don't think I did anything that bad. Amazon affiliate? I don't think there's much meat on that. that is, I don't think it's worth it. I don't particularly like that company either. They, they've they treated me like shit recently. And I've done it right back to them. But yeah, the, the only reason I use Amazon is because it's easy and pick up the lockers so I need something. And I hate, I, I hate going, I, I punch myself in the face and walk into Walmart. I hate that place. Yeah, 2300. I don't know how fucking people do it. Like, the one girl I work with, she just got a job as a service advisor with me. I, I was like, not bright. I was the best there was there. She couldn't keep up with me. I, I had it all. Like, how's this girl gonna make any money? Like, I don't gotta be cordial, but this, this is do or die. It's straight commission. I'm working my ass off. There's no meat on the bones for this girl. And she's like, oh, I'm gonna get this house. It was like, I was bad. Like, right before he crashed. It was like 160, 180. She thought it was reasonable. There's no fucking like I paid like 80 grand for my house. It's still lost that thing. Like how are you gonna do this? She's like, oh, an interest only loan. Like that's it. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> wow. Ultimate subprime. <laughs> You're gonna default. They're gonna make their money eight times over. Just keep porking people. It's fine though. Whatever. I don't know what happened to her. 2300 Jesus Christ I could I couldn't freaking afford that like even like if you run a room now <laughs> you gotta move on somebody hopefully you get along you're paying their mortgage for them <laughs> it's just weird like and then there's always shit expected of you like like I'm my rent money still I <laughs> before like when this was I had this I'm like all right I could still get a place and I guess I didn't move in quick enough because like where are you I'm like my rent's paid up for the month. I'll be there when I'm there. Like, do I gotta come entertain you? Like, oh, you're upset that I'm not there. And they get real upset about something. Like, this ain't gotta work. I'm like, you know what? Can I get my money back? He's like, no. I'm like, well, can you give me, like, I'll pay for the two weeks I wasn't there. Just give me the rest of it. I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> Great, whatever. I'm not doing that again either. <laughs> Another thing that fucking went fits up. Kids insurance. How the hell do they do it? Yeah. Kids are. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's not, none of this shit's cheap. This is expensive. It's nothing. You ain't getting away with nothing. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna pay one way or the other. I think people that don't even wreck my dream of living on the island. Yeah, I, I freaking love St. Pete. It's changed a lot down there. I still love. I always love. It's one of my favorite cities. <laughs> Do this down there. <laughs> Go hop around. Stay. Like most of the good, but there's like some places where they, they don't want you up there. It's like no parking, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Like, yeah, we know we know what this is. I'm gonna move at 9:59. I don't, don't freaking upset anybody. I'm not allowed here. It's clear. The diversity, no neighbors. I don't like my neighbors. I, that was a huge issue. I, I did something to terribly upset these people. They hated my fucking guts. They would call the cops every chance they got. Fuck me. <laughs> Send me some PTSD, D freaking crazy freaking defensive mode. I'm gonna die. You can just knock on my door and leave me like stupid fucking letters and code. I'm signed A Daver to mow my lawn. Yes, I know my lawn needs to be mowed. <laughs> just leave me alone. Free beach camping. 
Yeah, I've, I've risked it on some places where I'm not like, not supposed to be, but kind of shuffle me along, give me a hard time, <laughs> put me in a bad mood, maybe fear for my life, and I'll I will move. But right now, I'm staying. The tent is looking better and better. I thought about a rooftop tent and doing the um, on the Volkswagen. It just it's just not practical. And I thought when I knew like every it's all coming to an end, like let me get this pop-up camper <laughs> and I'm like well you can't put this thing anywhere it's a pain in the ass everything's a trade-off my girlfriend one just sell my house in the ghetto join her you know, it would have helped right yeah uh, there there's a lot of upsides to this and there are a lot of downsides I saw somebody made a poster. I thought I popped my van on September 10th, whatever date it was. He said, if it broke down, I got a place like on the 20th. I'm like, I got to told you this on the 9th that it wasn't going to be all you expected. And it's going to take some getting used to it. And you wouldn't listen to it anyway. I'm like, man, thank you. As long as it holds together, <laughs> as long as I got the right tools to fix it, I'm try to keep it that way. I'm going to truck it with the overhead bed. I don't. In the truck camper? Those things stick out like a sore thumb, like guaranteed. We're in Maine. We had a parking together, and this guy, in this crazy truck camper, it sticks out like a sore thumb, like clearly living in it. And we're already huddled up. He says he parks right in front of this fucking brewery. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's parked right in front of the business. Next morning, like, I get up, for notes all over our windshield, like, you gotta stop doing this. But yeah, let's try to spread out a little bit and let's not circle the wagons. A small car in part Y. <laughs> something else to break, something else to insure, something else to take care of. The only reason I'm keeping the car is because I spent way too much money on it and I did way too much work to it. I'm, it's a backup. I'm not, I'm not letting it go. I, regret, I got rid of my first truck. I can't believe I did it. I regret that. I was going to live in way over 30k in the last three years. I don't know, like, people have these miraculous jobs. Like, it's, unless you're working some crazy commission. Like, what I did in automotive was you work a year and a half and you get paid for one year. And everywhere else, like, lucky if you get 30, 40 grand. But then you meet people, I make a 150,000 sitting on my ass. They just give me a 30 grand raise, like, take off any day that I want. Where, where did this come from? What do you do? Fucking lucky you. Yeah, thanks. I think it is. It's. I think it's like the best we're gonna get. Like it's a little small, but I fit places and you can go a lot of places. It's it's decent for what it is. It'd be nice to have a little bit more room, but then you can't get away with as much. I hardly get away with it as it is. I got a problem everywhere I go. Whatever. It's just an awful lot. It's aggravated. I tried it. Like, I haven't washed it in a while. It's still it's, it's not dented up. It's Parts aren't falling off. It's not rusty. You know. <laughs> I mean, it's about as uncreepy and well kept as I can keep it. P people don't want to see it. No matter where you're. Who the fuck is this person? Welcome over to Counter P. We all got to get along here. 212 East Street. Or East 7th Street. I'm still getting used to the streets down there. Like, I hardly know my way around. There's like, because we live down there, I don't know where the hell I'm at. But yeah, it's it's so clean. It's so so pretty. Like, Newport Richie was similar. Granted, there's nothing going on there. It's, they don't want me. I'll go where I'm not wanted, or at least tolerated. But it's yeah, it's super pretty down there. It's like the beach, it's Beach Boulevard, or whatever. I feel out of place sometimes, but there's a, there's a lot. There's a there's too many van dwellers down there. People are setting up freaking fifth wheels and shit. Like man, this, this, they're gonna end this really soon. Like it's out of control. But they let it happen. I went. To, it was a Maximo Park. It was like two buses there. And a sprinter. I'm like you stay in here tonight. I'm like I didn't think you could. They're like we stay here last night. And it says that you park there 48 hours. But that's for the boats. And the cop came by, and I guess he questioned her. He's like, yeah, you could stay, but if the ranger comes, he's probably going to throw you out. Like, it's, I don't know. If I stayed there, I would have been freaking questioned. It would have it been awful. It would have went to hell, so. 
<laughs> some kid was, I guess you could stay on the skyway for like pretty much, they'll, they'll never kick you out of there. Some kid on a bike, he's like, hey, um, he was asking me part of it. I don't know. Like, I don't have all the answers. You can try it, but there's places where you know you have less chance of being hassled. Then every four years, if they're off the reef, where? where? Oh, my, my geography's terrible for being a traveler. But I can get around decent, but I don't know. These, these people that show up, they're weird. I don't know these people. But yeah, okay. yeah, I've never been to hammock camping. It seems like quick and easy, but I don't know if I'd do it. I'm like super minimalist. You just have fun with what you got. But yeah, I can see the appeal. I don't know if I could do it, but I met some like I don't know like, through hikers, but I had what I had my pop up, and I met this guy. He had a did like two taps. He had the bigger one, a tag, and these guys they had nothing. They had two hammocks. So like, hey, we're not gonna finish these freaking like crackers or whatever. So you take them. So I like to have some stuff to do. Like, I don't I don't read like none of that shit. I don't not not, not not under the skyway, but like right. I guess like the north or south. One of the two you can stay at. Oops, I can't get as fast. Yeah. I don't know. It's not that bad. As long as you luck out. And... Like a lot of people, they'll go go real late and get up real early. I, I don't get up early. When I get comfortable, <laughs> I will stay my welcome. But I thought I had the perfect spot then. Like, you couldn't even see my van. It was so dark. But when I was moving around, the guy told the cops I was in three days. And I wasn't there three days. Like, that's totally hearsay. I wasn't there. Like, I'd been hanging around a lot, but not three consecutive days. And what if I was? Like, how do you know I don't live here? I fit a description. Fan of whatever. Fuck me. Get out of here. People say, yeah, people don't want to see it. And. It's not fair to them, but it is. It's, it's two sides that story. This is gonna get this. I see a lot more people living in their cars and just flat out homeless. It's gonna get worse. Like they come up problem, they'll just wait. It's not gonna get better anytime quick. <clears throat> Full time at Harley's. Yeah, I think I've heard of people doing that. I don't know. That ain't for me. Smoke a lot of weed and have a neck tattoo. <laughs> right. <laughs> the instant derogation. God forbid you <laughs> smoke such a mild substance and decorate your body. A lot of cops are the same shit. Like you see cops all covered up in tattoos and <laughs> what gang are you affiliated? You ask everybody else. Let's ask you. Just, I don't know. It, it gives me an uneasy feeling. Like these people, they, they seem to, I like totally stereotype them. Like, you tell which ones are going to be more trouble than, than the other ones. And it's always a roll of the dice. If the people are going to flip out on you or, or cower and back down. It's fun. It's freaking. Wow. It's, it's not fun. I just think I'm an ex-con, of course, right? <laughs> yeah, cops talking. Floor is gonna be cut hot. So you see, yeah, I have no choice. But I, I, I do have a choice. I could stay here and run the generator and I don't know, kind of manage, but it's really not worth it. So save up a couple bucks and how or fuck how much money it's gonna cost me to get up where I'm going. <laughs> just go, just go camp out up there for a while. All right, I have, have all my spots marked off and shit. I know I know where I can just relax. I know where I can bounce between. It's not fair that you know they they can judge you. These people are supposed to be sensitive. They're supposed to have extensive training. Right? Most of their, their training is fuck you over, <laughs> bad their stats. <laughs> Explain in court it ain't our problem. Practicing law on the side of the road. I, I just had, like, I don't know what people hate that. I don't respect that. I had such terrible experience. I, I just think there are a couple of good ones. I, I hate them all. I'm fucking shy about it. Leave me alone. I'm doing something wrong. Just fucking shoot me. I better be doing something. I'm not doing anything terrible. I'm going to burn your neighborhood down. Kidnap your kids. I ain't up to that shit. That's an interest to me. I'm sitting here trying to, trying to live. Do fake concentrates. No fire, no burn. I, don't, I can't. I feel 
so stupid. It makes me feel absolutely stupid. I do not enjoy it. I don't care if anyone else partakes it. Absolutely fine with me. Like my kids smoking. Like I prefer you not to. I'm like you're gonna get fucking lazy. No, I'm not. And so you're gonna forget things. What? No, whatever. <laughs> it's not the worst thing. It could be a lot worse. Whatever. Have fun. Just try to keep it. Try to keep it under control. I had, a, I had a roommate once. I was just like, okay, I'm moving in with you. Things aren't going so good in Ohio. I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> whatever. Who cares? And then they, they just helped me out with the, the rent and the bills. I was like, the, the weed man was like, the weed man would always be paying. I never had, like, there's a point I just gave up. Just do what you want. Put up with you. you can just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't, this, this person has a fucking problem. Stay at Army Corps of Engineers. Um, yeah. I never stay at Army Corps of Engineers. I have to say, like, water management, and, and sometimes it's harder than others. Like, those, those places are throttled. And the people that manage them, it's, it's private. You gotta get lucky. You gotta know somebody and be really friendly with them. I probably get the camp post up here. I don't think that's a good idea. Just use my electricity. I'm gonna be fine. I know this place. I fix shit around here anyway. She's like, I'm, nobody's living here. It's my place. Okay. Whatever. Just try, try again later. I would. I don't know. I would. And perfect for that. I don't know. Probably got boring after a while. Whatever, I'm fine with that though. BLM. I never been. I, but I really haven't done this out west. You see, you see people they're just, they're just out there just simply surviving. I don't have this part of the life. You just waste your days away waiting for your social security check. It happens to some people. It just seems fucking depressing. No, it's not a panel. I don't know if a panel. I'll do that. I don't even know why I'm still on here. I'm still enjoying the chat. Yeah, I've never run a panel. Something maybe I'll look into eventually. Oh, this entertains me for now, though. Yeah, somebody told me, oh, you gotta run one and have this person on, that person on. Not a good, not a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea right now. On the chip of your chap. <laughs> I gotta go pick it up what you're putting down. Oh. I gotta be in the mood to come on here. I was talking to somebody. This channel, really, like I appreciate what I got, but like, really, the thing taken off. So maybe they want to see more of you. <laughs> you know, it sound, it sounds like the opposite of what I would have thought. They probably want to see less of me. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I gotta be in a good mood. You never know what you're gonna get here. I ain't that worried about it. It's, it's entertaining here. I like most of the people. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Chip your chat. No. Yeah, I don't know. So I'll, I'll definitely consider it. Panels I was I was supposed to do or put up to is, is didn't appeal to me. I just thought it'd be a lot of trouble. Like, that's the, I, like I I don't participate a lot of them. It just gets out of control. Like, there's people yelling and screaming. I don't, I don't do that shit. And you can't get a word in. Just sit there. <laughs> do what you want. I don't just be here. <laughs> Fucking useless because I don't want to yell over you. I just been I don't know. I, I've been in a couple that have been fun, but. They can devolve very quickly. You see me live stopping? Yeah, I don't know. Notifications are where I definitely will. You're all over the place here. It's all too much, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, things can just go crazy so quickly. People get legitimately upset with other people. <laughs> Nasty. It seems to be more the norm than than not. Yeah, I can't I can't do the, the yelling and screaming and like somebody was covering I was like a real stream or something, covering this Lisa Lynn and blah 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 blah. It's, it's, you wanna kill yourself like, for, it's horrible. It's not fun. I'll panhammer anyone that's rude. I don't know. People people can have fun here. 
don't say anything totally stupid. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> just, just try to act like somewhat like a. They just have fun. Just, people say some dumbass freaking shit, like terrible shit. Like you never say anything in real life. Like, it's no way. It just wouldn't happen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. It just isn't. I don't know why that amazes me. Maybe it doesn't. I should get off of here soon. Almost oh, so last year, I said a month ago. Or two. Why? Oh, you gotta be super careful on here. Super careful. They change. I don't even. What are the terms of service here? They're always changing. I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Surprise! I'm still on here too. You know, I, I don't. They, the, the algorithm don't like me. And the, what, what I'm saying is, is not to be promoted. I, I don't know. I think I'd be picture perfect for this. <laughs> I'd be what they want. Whatever. That's a lot. I don't care. Back channel accident video every confront album. <laughs> Why didn't you take that down? Uh, that was a good one. <laughs> Taking that down is fucking something else. It's staying up. <laughs> wow, what a night. It, it's I don't I don't I like see some of the recommendations. Like oh, well, I wouldn't watch this and then sometimes you find some gold. Yeah, that was, that was gold. Sometimes you, you will find some gold we least expect it. But yeah, that's kind of surmised, like, you know, that whole freaking, <laughs> you would call it a relationship or friendship. It's, it's never gonna fuck, never gonna work. <laughs> no matter what, what fucking dreams and aspirations, how much fun it could be. Like, another thing I was thinking, I'm just eyeball, I don't know what these people are. Like, this life would be so much more enjoyable if, if you had someone that like, they actually cared about and could cut along and go out and have fucking fun together. <laughs> it's very hard to find. Someone will put up with you too. But... Okay, all right, I'll see you. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you glad you came in here. Yeah, I am trying to stay positive, but I'm not, I'm not gonna freaking I'm not gonna lie to myself either. Just keep it try to keep it in balance. Cabin. I never tried cabin. It's gonna damage your liver. That's all I need. Maybe I'll try it. I don't know. Who knows? All right, go and show your day. Out of your face now. Feed the cat. <laughs> Go take a walk. Get that guy some vodka. Or whatever the hell he wanted. It's so sad. I don't feel bad for him. Alright, maybe I should probably take a nap too. Fuck, see what these fucking strains are up to. Like, this guy's got everyone and a mother coming in. Like, I understand you run a business, but just, just don't trust anybody around here. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, it's, you never know what's going to happen. Everything's going to kill you. Make your life miserable. All right, sweet. So I'll see you later. Thanks. All right, let me hop off of here. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. But <laughs> thanks for coming. This is fun. We'll do it again soon. I love you all. Bye.